Temperance comes in and talks about healing. It talks about um, purpose. Again, the second time, right? There is a purpose for you to interact with this person, whether it's healing yourself from an old relationship. Maybe this is the rebounder that's going to help you get over it to get over the pain. Maybe this is, um, um, the, maybe this person needs you. Okay. Maybe this is, um, some kind of, of destiny. I mean, we do have the, uh, the, 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 the wheel of fortune, right? A turning point in your destiny. Whatever this is, there's purpose though. There's purpose in this engagement right here. And it's going to make a difference in your life one way or another. It is going to change the course of your path. It will be a turning point um, in your destiny, whether this is new love. Hey, you guys, it's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. How the heck are you? How are you? I'm doing well. Welcome to All Hallows Eve over here at Deep Thoughts with Dana, where the veil is thinnest between the worlds. This is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. Taurus, I am on fire. I can feel it in my bones. I am on fire. And I just had to do a reading for you guys. I just had to. I just can just feel it in my bones. So we're going to see what this is about. Now, remember, Taurus can watch Pisces and Pisces can watch Taurus because I am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising and Pisces Venus. So just because of whatever reason, what comes out of me usually will resonate with one or the other of the opposites, right? If this reading resonates for you, the Pisces reading is going to resonate for you. If the Pisces reading resonates, the Taurus reading is going to resonate. So feel free to switch back and forth. You guys get two first. You truly do. You get two first. All right. So we're going to do a spread here and it's going to be amazing because I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. All right, Taurus, you ready? You ready? Here we go. Remember, the only way to know your true story is to have your cards read. That's the only way to know your true story, okay? Let's see what this let's see what this says. All right. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to look forward to? What is coming? What is coming for Taurus? Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring Taurus the messages that Taurus needs to know and understand. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Spirit, I want to know about the collective of Taurus. What is the theme, the general theme in the lives of Taurus, Spirit? I know it can it can play out in a bazillion different ways in everybody's life, but what is the theme? What is the major message that needs to come across for Taurus today? Spirit, I'm going to shuffle a couple more times. I'm going to cut three times and I'll pull straight off the top. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring Taurus the messages that Taurus needs to know and understand. All right, you guys. Here we go. Let's cut three times and see where we get. Let's make sure that we can see everything up here in this camera. I think we can. You can see all my miscellaneous stuff. All right. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, justice in reverse. What the hell? Death in reverse. Mm, to the alchemist in reverse. All right. Death in reverse to the alchemist in reverse. This is a personal transformation. Sometimes it's about resistance to change, but a personal transformation to the alchemist in reverse, talking about possibly lots of potential, possibly manipulation. 
the Prince of Wands in reverse, talking to us about no, not taking inspired action, frustrations, delays, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, selfishness, um, and uh, not... We'll see what that's about. The Prince of Swords in reverse. This is um, no communication. It's frustration. It is um, racing mind, racing thoughts. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Greed, materialism, self-protection. The Ten of Swords in reverse. This is inevitable endings or healings and regenerations. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse in the center of this spread. Talking about... Um, if I keep doing things the way that I've always done them, I'm always going to get what I've always gotten. This is a lack of success or reward for the efforts or the, the methodologies that you employ in your life. The Hierophant. This is a card that's rooted in the word commitment. This card also is about um, institutionalism. It's everything that is supposed to be. Okay, It's everything that's supposed to be. To the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, stuck, strength, fortified, determined, the Princess of Pentacles, manifestation, the Seven of Cups in reverse. This is either unrealistic, illusion, fantasy, or it is diversionary tactics. Six of Cups in reverse, unrealistic, stuck in the past, Ace of Cups in reverse, hurt feelings, Princess of Wands, new beginnings, the Emperor in reverse to the Devil. The chariot, you guys seeing this? Yeah. The chariot, five of wands, conflict, the king of cups, feelings, love, temperance, healings, waiting, four of wands, a transition, ten of wands, a struggle, the empress in reverse, um, creative block, codependency, the tower in reverse, averting disaster, the queen of swords in reverse, to the lovers. Wow, we're going to stop with that. I could just keep going and going and going and going and going and going, right? We can read an entire story in order from this entire deck of cards. I can anyway. All right. So, okay. So, Taurus, how is everybody? It's Halloween Eve. It is 8.08 in the evening on Halloween Eve. And I am sipping some Mexican coffee. It's delicious. It's from Mexico. It's one of my very favorite coffees. Anyway, Taurus. How the heck are you? If you didn't, if you didn't uh, know in the last uh, reading that I did, if you didn't watch that, I have quit smoking and I'm vaping now. And I do vape while I'm doing this because I always want to smoke when I'm doing a tarot card reading, right? And now I can because it's not disgusting and gross anymore. So if vaping offends you, now would probably be a good time to just look the other way. Or if you really want to, you can leave the channel, okay? But here we go. All right, Taurus, let's figure this out. So we have death in reverse, okay? I think this is a personal transformation to the alchemist in reverse. Spirit, what's this alchemist? Ace of Cups. Potential. Tell me about death. Is this a personal transformation? What kind is this personal transformation into new love? with a whole bunch of potential. What is death in reverse right here? Oh. Yeah, the six of swords in reverse, right? Stuck. So death in reverse is resistance to a change. The alchemist in reverse to the ace of cups. Is this alchemist about manipulation? Is this alchemist about manipulation? I'm not going to use any of these because they're like huge. So we're just going to try again. Is this alchemist about manipulation? What is this alchemist about? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So the alchemist is going to be about an inability to manifest. An inability to manifest. Stuck in... Can't move on. Death in reverse. Resistance to change. Lots of water under the bridge. And I'm going to timestamp this, right? And I'll, sh I'll tell y'all, and if I forget, somebody please do it. But I'll tell y'all where the actual reading begins, okay? I'm just working my way through and channeling the message right now, okay? If you don't like it, you can just carry on forward to uh, 
where I go back and give the recap of the, the story. Okay? All right. Not taking inspired action. Frustrations, delays, Six of Pentacles in reverse, um, selfishness, not being able to share, right? The Eight of Cups talking about, um, in the upright, talking about abandonment and disappointment. Abandonment and disappointment. The King of Pentacles right there. Abandonment, disappointment, the Prince of Swords in reverse, not knowing what to think about the situation, right? Not knowing what to think. So who is this King of Pentacles right here? Who is this King of Pentacles? Is this representing Taurus? Ooh, to the Queen of Cups. All right. We've got some Pisces going on here, huh? Okay. The Nine of Wands in reverse, giving up. Okay, giving up. All right, so, okay, got it, got it. Let's carry on. The four of, you don't got it yet, but I got it. The four of pentacles in reverse, uh, self-protection. Why? Why is this? Greed, it's not greed or materialism. Why is it self-protection when it comes to the ten of swords in reverse, nine of cups in reverse? Okay, once bitten, twice shy, maybe? Afraid of emotional um, dissatisfaction? The Ten of Swords in reverse, an inevitable ending, regeneration. Tell me about this and tell me more about the emotional dissatisfaction, please. What is this emotional dissatisfaction and what is the Ten of Swords in reverse? There we go. Eh. The King of Wands. Can you fucking believe it? I mean, seriously, but this could be talking about your success. So let's just see how it goes. Oh, look behind it. The Empress too. Ah, Taurus to the King of Wands. What the fuck? Why? 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 You know, if we all just make a collective decision right now, that this dude is not worth the time and the effort. We could all just like close this whole thing out and move on to some kind of brand new story. If y'all are new to the channel, this dude has been following Taurus in their readings and Pisces as well in their readings since January of 2019. It's insane. And here he is again talking about resurrection. To the Empress and the King of Wands. Okay. So that's Taurus. Finally, maybe having some self-worth. Maybe we're going to close this out in this spread, huh? Let's see. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, right? Because if I keep doing what I've always done, I'm always going to get what I've always gotten. And temperance comes on top of this and talks about your purpose. Lack of success, a lack of reward is what the Seven of Pentacles is about. Temperance, lack of success, a lack of reward is healed. Holy fuck, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't lie, right? Look, the Six of Cups to the Seven of Cups and the King of Cups. Holy schmoly. The Hierophant commitment. What is this about? What is this commitment? You're stuck for some reason with the Prince of Pentacles. What is the what is the what is the commitment? Is the commitment like actual commitment, or is this um, some other form or variety of commitment? Queen of Wands. Oh, that's what you're stuck in. That's what you're stuck in. I see. To the Hierophant. Tell me about the Hierophant. The King of Swords, Truth, the Hierophant, this could be Taurus and their person, could be a military person, could be an authority figure of some sort, but the truth is being spoken for sure, and Taurus has to decipher, and the King of Swords is also the blockage for the commitment. Tell me more about this King of Swords, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Tell me more. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to grab a different deck of cards. Nobody move. Everybody stay where you are. I'll use these. I'll use these. Okay. Okay. So the Queen of Wands. That's the issue. Strength. To the Princess of Pentacles. 
What do I got? I got something flipped over. The Two of Wands. Right on. Strength to the Two of Wands, right? To the Princess of Pentacles. Right, 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 right. Okay. Um, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. So the Princess of Pentacles manifesting seven of cups in reverse illusion and fantasy to the page of pentacles that this can be manifested six of cups in reverse unrealistic to reunite or reconcile differences because of the ace of cups in reverse because of uh, unfulfilled feelings hurt feelings six of cups in reverse is about um stuck in the past ace of cups overwhelming emotions stuck in the past over yep look stuck in the past to the king of pentacles and the king of cups in reverse of course to the ace of cups of course of course of course said the horse of course princess of wands to the emperor in reverse and the devil the chariot moving forward the Five of Wands, Conflicted, the King of Cups, Feelings, Temperance, Purpose, Healing, Four of Wands in Reverse, to the Ten of Wands, the Burden, the Struggle, the Empress in Reverse, to the Tower in Reverse, to the Queen of Swords in Reverse, and the Lovers. Okay, we're going to set that little stack aside. And we're going to stop right there with temperance and we'll address that stack when we get there. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, let's do this. Mm. Good shit. Mm. I'm wrap my mind around this. So resistance, too much water under the bridge for there to be potential in this relationship. That's it. Okay. So death in reverse is your resistance. Resistance to change, okay? Resistance to change. What are you resistant to? Well, the alchemist in reverse, you're resistant to the idea that this relationship um, can have any kind of potential, whether this is new or old, okay? You are resistant to the idea that this relationship can have any kind of potential. Why? Because of the six of swords in reverse. This is too much water under the bridge, whether this is um, the two of you, someone from your past having you and someone from your past having too much water under the bridge to have any kind of potential for a relationship or this is you yourself have too much water under the bridge from some other kind of damage in your life right to to have potential in new love okay new love maybe this is you thinking you know what i just i just I give up on love. I give up. I just, I just, I can't manifest it. I have too much water under the bridge. But the death card talks about resistance to change, right? So what this is saying is that you are resistant to change the way that you think about something because there's a lot of water under the bridge when it comes to new love. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, right? Lacking ambition or focus to engage. And perhaps that is what's happening here. Perhaps, perhaps... Let's just say this death in reverse is transformation, okay? A personal transformation. Snickers, stop. It's officially bone wars at my house. For real, I gave them both a bone, a bully stick, right? Which are bull penises. Did you know that? But anyway, they love them, right? So I gave them both a bully stick, put them in their opposite corners, and they're just chewing away. And now Poppy's has Poppy has stolen Snickers' bone. Snickers freaks out. He gets in a big fight with Poppy, steals his bone back, and now Poppy has stolen it again. This is life in my house. All right. Personal transformation with death in reverse to the alchemist in reverse with tons and tons of potential. Okay. Lots of water under the bridge. Nah, we can't read it that way. It just doesn't, it just, we can't read it that way. Okay. I was trying to give an alternate perspective, but it's a fucking relationship. It is. It's a relationship. You are resistant to change. You are resistant to change. 
an inability to manifest. Why? Because there's too much water under the bridge to create new love. You're lacking ambition or focus. Whether this is you giving up on love or whether this is you um, it, um, thinking about engaging in, an, in a relationship, you're just like, you're just like, why? Why? Prince of Wands in reverse. Zero inspired action. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, selfishness. Um, no give and take, no exchange at all. The Prince of Swords in reverse, not knowing what the hell, not knowing what the hell at all, right? The Eight of Cups. This is something that you see as extremely disappointing and you abandoned this whole thing a long time ago. What whole thing? Any hopes of new love, either in this situation or in your life. King of Pentacles. To the Queen of Cups, you have abandoned the idea that there will be love, either in your personal life or in this particular situation. Nine of Wands in reverse confirms that, and it talks about giving up the struggle. Just giving up the struggle. Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is uh, self-protection self-protection, protecting yourself, right? Why are you protecting yourself? Well, you're protecting yourself from the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is emotional dissatisfaction. This also might be somebody who drinks too much or parties too much. Um, this could be somebody who does too many recreational drugs or whatever, but whatever it is, it's not your cup of tea. Um, but nevertheless, it is emotional dissatisfaction regardless of the root of it, okay? So self-protection to f from emotional dissatisfaction, right? You don't want to get hurt again, right? Or, or at all. I mean, again, as in if this is something that's resurfacing from your past, or again, if this is something that has happened to you before, right? The Ten of Swords in reverse. This is a card about inevitable endings, but in this positioning with these cards around it, this card is about regeneration and healing. What is being regenerated and healed. Well, the Empress to the King of Wands, the Empress being Taurus, the King of Wands being someone. Tell me about this King of Wands right here. Tell me about the Empress to the King of Wands. Is there communication coming in? What's the, what, what's the bridge here between Taurus being like, no, this is never going to happen for me. It's never going to happen for me. It's never going to happen for me. And then we have a card about either regeneration or healing. It could be the regeneration of a past relationship, or it could be the healing of your resistance, you, you giving up on love. Perhaps this person comes into your life. The only way to know this shit is to have your cards read. You can watch a general tarot card readings to the cows come home, and it doesn't mean that it's your story or your life. The only way to know what your story is to have your cards read. I mean, I'm giving this reading to a small auditorium full of people. I mean, if this was you, I could tell you, right? So the Empress and the King of Wands to the Eight of Wands in reverse. This is delays and frustration, no communication. Well, what changes here, Spirit? The Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new beginning to the judgment card, something that you have to make a decision about. So is this, I'm still not getting the communication that I'm asking for here, but that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. Look at this, this says, this says, Knight of Cups in reverse, where there was zero exchange of feelings to the Nine of Wands, resilience, persistence, right? Maybe you held out a little bit of hope deep down inside that maybe someday this would come back around. Or you held out a little bit of hope that maybe... Um, Maybe um, you could find new love again somehow, even though you had given up on it. This is about resilience and persistence, but it's also about being worn out. And then boom, we have either um, reunion or we have celebration, right? What's the reunion or the celebration, depending upon your situation? It's the Empress in the King of Wands, where there was no action or movement either in this relationship or in your love life, 
Ace of Pentacles says something new is trying to push through. Judgment says that you have to make a decision. Knight of Cups in the in reverse and the Nine of Wands says that this is your battle weary from this to the Three of Cups. This is reuniting or celebrating with someone. So this is either new love coming into your life or this is the rekindling of something else. An old love. The seven of pentacles in reverse, lack of success or reward, right? This card says that at some point you have invested some time and effort either in this relationship or the relationship that hurt you that makes you not want to engage in love, okay? Um, lack of success or reward. To the temperance card, um, the situation is being healed. It's being healed. Um, there is... Um, your, your, there is a purpose for you in this situation, either this new love that's coming in, this empress and this king of wands, or this repeated, the repeated relationship with someone else. But there's purpose in you coming together with this person. I don't know what that is because I'm talking to so many people, right? But there's purpose in the two of you coming together for whatever reason, okay? It's also about healing, either healing you as an individual about your perspective about love because new love is coming in, or it's the healing of the relationship if this is a relationship that is re-emerging. The Six of Cups talks about reuniting and reconciling with someone from your past. Let's talk about that. Reuniting with someone from your past. This card is not, now that's just kind of like a, a flippant definition. The Six of Cups is about your immediate comfort zone. Okay, look at that. Huh. Let's do this side even. Ready? Yay. <laughs> this is about your immediate comfort zone, okay? So, so who this person is, is somebody that you already know, but it doesn't mean that you've made an exchange with them yet. This could be um, the manager at the coffee shop. This could be the waiter. This could be, it's somebody that is, is around you. Now it could be somebody from your past. I mean, it could be a like big time, big time from your past, but it doesn't have to be from way back when. It's about your environment, okay? Your home, your family, everything that that's familiar to you, okay? Um, so you're either going to reunite with someone from your past or you're going to reconcile your differences with someone in your environment or you are going to reunite and reconcile with someone from your past. Seven of Cups, this is options, choices, decisions. It's like, wow, I cannot believe this is even coming into my life right now. This is something that I completely abandoned, completely abandoned the idea that anything like this could ever happen again to the King of Cups, the card of Scorpio, I think, as a reader. Um, the King of Wands as well, even though it's fire, I see the King of Wands as half Aries and half Scorpio, okay? Then we have the Empress, which is Taurus, and the Hierophant, which is Taurus, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups, right? That's King of Pentacles would be you, or another Earth sign, the Queen of Cups would be some kind of water. Okay, so those are the players, right? They don't have to be that sign, though. Not at all, y'all. Not at all. Zodiac and astrology is a huge, gigantic piece of the tarot. But the way that I read the tarot is intuitive, and I don't, I don't, I don't care about your sign. I don't care about your sign. I'll never even ask you your sign unless I'm curious in a reading, right? All right. So there is reuniting and reconciling, and now you have options and choices and decisions to make about this King of Cups right here. This King of Cups is is this King of Wands, right? It's It represents your feelings for this King of Wands, the King of Cups, and that they're coming to you wanting to reunite and reconcile and being all sweet about it, okay? The Hierophant. This is, is this commitment because it's, it's, it's crossed by the King of Swords. So what does this person want? This person wants commitment with the Hierophant and the King of Swords is, 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 is your warning to Taurus or what? The Two of Wands, the future. Yeah, they want commitment for the future. Commitment for the future. King of Swords. Tell me what this King of Swords is saying right here. What is this King of Swords about? What is this King of Swords about? What is his duty? What is his responsibility? 
Okay, the King of Swords is responsibility, which it would be you, you manifesting, hold on. That's my alarm to go out to the full moon. Um, this King of Swords is you manifesting um, the decision-making process between the Five of Wands and the Magician in Reverse. This is you having to discern between the conflict that this situation causes you and the potential of this relationship, okay? Um, that's what the King of Swords is about. That's why it's on top of the Hierophant, because if you are going to engage in this, it is going to be a committed kind of thing. You're going to have to commit something to it. Is this Hierophant saying this person is going to propose marriage to you? Maybe. But on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, this Hierophant is about you um, having to understand and decide and choose that you are going to commit some time and effort to this situation. Okay? The Prince of Pentacles in reverse. But what you're stuck on, Taurus, what you're stuck on is the Queen of Wands. That's what you're stuck on. This Queen of Wands, tell me, Spirit, is this Queen of Wands an issue from the past? Or does this Queen of Wands talking about Taurus having to choose between this relationship and their career or their success? Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. The tower, she caused a tower, or will be a tower. Tell me, please. Tell me, please. Maybe this person's with a, in a relationship already. Six of Cups to the Queen of Swords. Okay, it is. So this Queen of Wands, you are stuck in the past about this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands, it, it, or you're stuck on the Queen of Wands. Perhaps this person is already in a relationship. Perhaps they're saying, as soon as I get out of this relationship. Perhaps they're saying, I just want to be friends. Perhaps they're, whatever the problem is with this person, right? Um, I also believe that this Knight of Pentacles in reverse to the Queen of Wands to the Tower is saying that your person is telling you that they have been stuck with the Queen of Wands, a, a third part, another person, right? They're an, another, not you. They've been stuck with the Queen of Wands and they had a Tower moment. And because of that Tower moment, they are coming with the Six of Cups, wanting to reunite or reconcile to the Queen of Swords and speaking their truth to you, okay? That a, that very well could be exactly what's happening here. But you're stuck on that. You're stuck on the fact that there is some other something in here, right? See the Tower, the Six of Cups? Yeah, I think they're coming to tell you that there's been a Tower moment in their situation and they want to reunite and reconcile with you. Strength. Um strength. Okay. And for those of you where this isn't someone from the past, this could be saying that, um, that with the six of cups, right? Referring to the past, to the past, to the past, that there was a tower moment. This could be you finding out that maybe this person already has a person and they're trying to get loose from this person. Um, possibly strength comes in and talks about being fortified. Why do you need strength? Well, for the Ace of Wands, because there is an inspired, passionate new beginning being offered, a strengthened relationship to the Princess of Pentacles that's trying to manifest. The Seven of Cups in reverse. This is about um, fantasy and illusion, right? You, like you said up here, it's just I gave up on this whole thing. There was just I abandoned the thought that there could ever be any kind of either love for me or love between us again in this relationship to the Page of Pentacles. But lo and ho lo and behold, it's manifesting. It's manifesting right now, right? Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past. Ace of Cups in reverse, hurt feelings. Why? King of Pentacles to the King of Cups in reverse. This tells me that whomever you were dealing with, which is the same as the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups up here, and I think, yeah, the King of Cups right there, right? It's the same exact situation, the same exact story. This is saying that one of two things, either Taurus as the king of, pe of, of pentacles, right? This is the card of Taurus. Some people say it's Capricorn. I say it's Taurus. Um, this is the card of Taurus. Um, 
to the King of Cups in reverse. This is the other person. Taurus wanted success in this relationship in the past and this person rejected Taurus or this King of Pentacles is, is who you wanted in the past. But um, I guess it's the same story. It's the same thing. Okay, let's take the past out of it. So the King of Pentacles to the King of Cups in reverse, this would be Taurus, being emotionally volatile because um, they are afraid to engage in love. So if this person is from your past, you're stuck on the hurt feelings because your love was rejected by them once before. If this is new love coming in, um, Taurus is still emotionally volatile um, and confused about engaging in a relationship with this person, newer or, or old. Princess of Wands in reverse. This is exploration, discovery. To the Emperor in reverse, self-control. Um, not self-control, I'm sorry, controlling, right? Controlling. To the Devil, um... Toxic, the chariot moving forward, the five of wands conflicted about that, the king of cups, two temperance. Okay, so what this is saying is with the princess of wands, this is um, exploration, discovery, excitement, enthusiasm, right? This is maybe possibly some small communication, wanting to, to get this going on. Um, I think this is more of the energetic feel of what's happening here. Exploration, excitement, discovery, right? You're, you're, you're being invited to interact with this person again. And yeah, the emperor in reverse represents this person, okay? It represents the king of wands. What you're saying in the emperor in reverse is that um, you're pretty you're pretty hung up on this guy being this person, okay? It doesn't have to be a guy. You're pretty, but we got kings flying everywhere. You have, you're pretty hung up on this person's um, behavior from the past and you're really resistant to um, level up this relationship with this person because they're just really... Mm. Their behavior from the past sticks in your craw, as we would say in the South. It sticks in your craw, and it just, it, it, you can't seem to let it go. The world. And if it's not the past, if it's not a past person, right? The emperor in reverse is Taurus being overly controlling of their emotions, of the situation. The page of cups in reverse is a creative block, right? Not, not allowing yourself to create. To the world, this is the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. Very interesting. To the wheel of fortune, an absolute turning point in your destiny in this situation to the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is coming out of the cold. Coming out of the cold. Wow. Wow, wow. The devil, that's the apprehension. That's why the emperor is in reverse, right? That's the apprehension. This is a toxic love, or it was a toxic love. It has the potential to be a toxic love. If you are, if this is about a single Taurus and this is new love coming into your life, this devil, re devil represents an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. What is that attachment? That attachment is you blocking yourself off and not allowing new love to come into your life. That's the attachment that is restricting your growth. If this is about a resurrection from the past for you, the devil is about the toxicity of this, of this relationship or this person all the way around. Tell me about the devil, please. Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Lovers. That's the question, right? You can see the potential of this. We had the Magician in reverse way back here. You can see the potential of this relationship. Ten of Cups, there is something really good between you. Okay, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, though, says that you, one of you, I think you think that the other person is a little selfish fuck, though. Selfish. You don't know if they can step up to the plate. You don't know if this is going to be an equally yoked relationship because you don't trust this person from the past to the lovers. But there is potential in this situation to the chariot moving forward, moving forward 
to the five of wands. Despite the conflict, okay, despite the conflict, the king of cups. You have feelings for this person and this feeling, the person obviously has feelings for you, okay? Temperance comes in and talks about healing. It talks about um, purpose. Again, the second time, right? There is a purpose for you to interact with this person, whether it's healing yourself from an old relationship. Maybe this is the rebounder that's going to help you get over it to get over the pain. Maybe this is, um, um, the, maybe this person needs you. Okay. Maybe this is, um, some kind of, of destiny. I mean, we do have the, uh, the, 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 the wheel of fortune, right? A turning point in your destiny. <laughs> Here's Taurus, right? Going back and forth. One more time, right? One more time. Four of Wands in reverse. This is um, um, the lack of structure and stability, the lack of harmony that you have caused me. To the Ten of Wands, you have been nothing but a burden and a struggle to me. This whole goddamn thing between me and you has been nothing but a burden and a struggle to me. To the Empress in reverse, right? You've never put me first. You've never put me on top. Um, and, and quite frankly, I just don't want to create with you. Creative block. The Tower in reverse. I am averting disaster in this situation. To the Queen of Swords in reverse. I am so angry at you. I am so pissed off with you. I am withdrawing my emotions from this situation and I am not interacting in this situation at all, period. And then the lovers. Uh, this is Taurus saying, but, <laughs> but, right? But this could also be about self-love to tell you the truth. It very, it very well could. This could be the way that it is, right? Nothing but huge grief to me, a burden and a struggle. I'm not creating with you. I'm averting disaster. I'm putting up my guards. I'm sour. I'm salty. And I do not want to be with you to the lovers in the upright being major arcana. This could be spirit speaking to you saying self-love way to go. Taurus self-love could go either way. General read. It could go either way. This could be Taurus saying, I just want to choke the shit out of you sometimes, but come here, right? Or this could be Taurus saying, are you fucking kidding me? There is no way that I am re-engaging with your insanity. Goodbye. Peace out. Boy Scout. Self-love with the lovers. Could go. Either way. Whatever this is, there's purpose though. There's purpose in this engagement right here. And it's going to make a difference in your life one way or another. It is going to change the course of your path. It will be a turning point um, in your destiny. Whether this is new love coming in, if this is new love coming in for you, then these four cards here talk about all of your distress, all of your pain from the past, the Queen of Swords in reverse, being all jaded, right? Um, the Queen of Swords upright. I hate it when people call the Queen of Swords upright jaded. I hate that so much. She is not jaded in the upright. In the upright, she's just learned enough. She's lived long enough and she's seen enough to call bullshit when it's happening. And if that makes her jaded, then she's jaded. But that's not what she's about. She's about calling it like she sees it in the reverse. She's a little salty. She's a little jaded, right? But boom, lovers comes on top of it and says, this is an opportunity for you to love. There is a love opportunity. If this is about new love for you, there is a love opportunity being presented to you. And you are super, super guarded about it, afraid of it, um, terrified of it, and you fight it every inch of the way. But Spirit says there is purpose for you in this situation and you need to embrace it. If this is a resurrection of a relationship, one of two things. This, well, if this is a resurrection of a relationship, this person is coming back to you and they are apologizing. They're confessing their love for you and they want to take this relationship into the future. 
with one of two outcomes. Some of you will tell this person to go fuck themselves, and some of you will jump all over this like a catfish on bait. <laughs> so that is your reading, Taurus and or Pisces. I do hope that you enjoyed it and um, very interesting. I wonder how this is going to play out in my life. I wonder how this is going to play out in my life. Um, I think I'm going to do an extended reading to this. I do. Well, yeah, I'm going to do an extended reading to this. So there will be a link floating around this whole time somewhere around here. So this is your reading, Taurus. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope that I helped you somehow, some way. Namaste.